Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to automatically send digital downloads with Razorpay and Google Drive. So let us begin with a small example. So as you can see, I'm going to work with three apps here, Razorpay, Google Drive, as well as Gmail. So the idea is that if a payment is made on Razorpay, a file that is present in my Google Drive will be shared to the customer who has made the purchase on his Gmail account. So let us do the experiment. So we have a person called as Amy Alexander. So the first name is Amy, the last name is Alexander. We have the email as amy26064 at the rate gmail.com. So the idea is that we will be sending an email containing this uh, particular uh, file that is Java for kids to this email address. So this is the email address. Okay. And this is basically the phone number and this is the payment amount. So the payment form has been filled and is going to be submitted by Amy Alexander. Okay. So Amy is just choosing for cards and she is going to enter the card details this is amy cvv and she is going to complete the purchase by clicking on skip saving card okay so the payment has been completed let me just click on success okay excellent payment is successful now the idea is that this particular file that is java for kids that is uh, stored as a pdf in my google drive will be made available to amy on her email address so as you can see it is already showing that I have shared the file automatically to Amy. Okay. So as you can see, this is the file Java for kids. So Amy is just going to click on this file and then she is going to uh, read or view the file. So you must be thinking, how did I do it? How did I manage to automatically send the digital file present in my Google drive to customer's email address after the purchase has been made by him on Razorpay? So basically here I have used an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that integrates Razorpay to Google Drive. Now the best part of using Public Connect is there is no need for coding skills or technical background. It can be done easily. So basically I'm just going to show you all the steps to integrate Razorpay and Google Drive. Okay, so to begin the process in the new tab, just type pabli.com, p-a-b-b-l-y.com, pabli.com, press enter. So this is the website of pabli.com just hover on products and here you will find connect just click on connect. Okay, so this is the landing page of pabli connect. All you have to do is just click on sign up for free. Here you can build your own account in just two minutes. In my case, I have already built an account. So let me just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the app section of pabli. Let me just scroll down here. You will find connect just click on access now. Okay, so the top right corner, you will find a button create workflow. Click this a dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm planning to give it as razor pay razor pay to Google Drive. Google Drive. And let me just click on create. So when you click on create, you will find two windows, the trigger window as well as the action window. So what's the deal with these two windows? So when we talk about automation in public connect, it works on the concept of triggers and action. The trigger here is an if statement. It asks a question. If this happens, what should be done? For example, if a new payment is made in razor pay, the action will be the file will be delivered from your Google drive to the purchasers Gmail account. So basically the idea is that using the trigger window, as well as this action window, we are going to create a workflow to re integrate razor pay to Google drive. Now, after we have built the workflow that has integrated Razorpay to Google Drive, I will make sure the link of this workflow is available in the description box. Okay, so let's go to the trigger window. Now here we are going to select the app as Razorpay. Razorpay it is. Okay, so now basically in the trigger event, how about we make it as payment captured. Now payment captured is a trigger event. We do have a ton of trigger events like payment authorized, payment dispute won, payment dispute lost. All of them are trigger events. But in case if you want more trigger events, just approach the help section. So when you click on the help section, you will be directed to Pabli forums. And in Pabli forums, you can make a request that you want so and so trigger events. Okay, but at present, I'm just happy with the trigger event that is payment captured. So the idea is that whenever a new payment is made in Razorpay, Pabli Connect will capture the data. So first of all, we are going to integrate Razorpay to Pabli Connect. Okay, so this is the first step. 
So let us have a visit to Razor Pay dashboard. Okay, so this is the Razor Pay dashboard. Now we do have a set of instructions here. We just have to follow them. So here it is saying go to settings and webhooks. So settings, so where is our settings? Okay, so this is the settings. And as you can see, these are all the webhooks that I have created. Now I am working with trial account. So there is a limitation that I can only create five webhooks, but it should not concern you. So now what's the next step? Click on setup webhook. So I'm just going to click on add new webhook. Okay, so now it is mentioning we have to enter the webhook URL. So this is the webhook URL you want. You simply copy this and you just paste it here. Okay, so we have entered the webhook URL. Now coming to this part that is active event. So in active event, we have to make sure that it is payment captured from active event section. Payment captured. Okay, that's done. So in case of secret, we don't have to do anything. The alert email will be basically the same email with which you have logged in. And all you have to do at this point is just click on create webhooks. So the webhook has been saved successfully. Excellent. So at present it is showing it is waiting for the data. Basically it means that if we make a payment on Razor Pay, it will capture the detail. So let's have a look. So I'm just going to uh, go to a payment page. Okay. So I'm interested in this particular page, online courses. I'm just going to copy the checkout URL and open this in a new tab. Press enter. Okay, so now we are going to fill some details. So here are the details of the person. We have a guy called as uh, Darius. Then this is the last name that is Moravik. We have the email. So this is the email. Let me just paste the email address of Darius Moravik. So on this email address, we will be sending this particular file that is Java for kids. Okay. And uh, this is uh, Darius phone number. Okay. So let me just enter the phone number and the total amount is 1300 and let me just click on pay. Okay, so let's uh, go with the card. So these are the card details of uh, Terrace. And let me just click on pay. Skip saving card. Okay, so let me just click on success. So a payment of 1300 has been made by a person called as Terrace Moravik. Okay, excellent. So the idea is that Terrace Moravik will be getting an email and this email will be containing this particular pdf okay now before that let us have a look whether public connect has captured the detail or not okay yes the details has been captured so the event is a payment captured and this is the amount but unfortunately it is showing the amount with two extra zeros but it is actually none of our concern at this point we have uh, the details of the person okay so this is the email address this is the phone number this is the first name this is the last name so we have got all the details so the idea is that we are going to send this particular folder, I mean this particular file that is java2.pdf, java for kids to uh, Terrace. Okay, and this is how you do it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to introduce the action window. Now remember this, this particular file that is java2 is present in my Google Drive. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the choose app as Google Drive. Google Drive it is. Now in the action event, how about we make it as share a file where is share a file this one and let me just click on connect we are going with a new connection and let me just click on connect with google drive okay so my google drive's name is aaron manuel okay so this is the google drive okay so this is the google drive let me just show you the google drive let me just close this so this is the google drive okay and uh, the name of the google drive is uh, aaron manuel it is a part of uh, aaron manuel 1991 at the gmail.com my gmail account so the idea is that we are going to connect with this particular Google Drive in which my file is present. So I'm just letting me just click on this particular uh, Gmail account and just click on allow. Authorization successful. Excellent. Okay. Now by default, it is showing the file ID as public connect integration main sheet. Now these are all the files that is present in my Google Drive account. Now I'm interested in this particular file java2.pdf. So we have selected it. Now we have to map the email address. All we have to do is just map this particular email address. Okay, so this is the email address we want. Or you can go with this one also. Okay, it's totally dependent on you. So I'm just going to click here. Okay, click here. And this is the email address we want. So it is Darius Moravik 663. Yes, and we have mapped it. Now, since this is a PDF, it doesn't really matter if the person can edit, comment, or view. Let me just keep let's me let me just keep on the default role that is can view. So at this point to send this uh, PDF that is Java 2 or Java programming for kids. So all you have to do is just click on save and send us request. Okay, so the response is a positive one. So let me just straight away take you to Terrace email account. So yes, he has received a file from me. 
and uh, this is the file java2 that is java for kids excellent so the presence of uh, this particular file in Terry's email account shows that we have a successful integration between uh, razor pay and google drive now before you leave let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell so let me just minimize the action window and let me just minimize the trigger window so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated razor pay to public connect and then you have integrated public connect to google drive so now there's a perfect flow of data between razor pay and google drive not just these two apps you can integrate multiple applications with public connect if you have any queries contact us at admin at the rate public.com furthermore the link of public connect as well as the workflow is available in the description box if you really like this video please comment share and subscribe thank you so much for watching